So that's a question. Why not try and pitch it to um, a publishing company to take it on and take the risk? It kind of never got to that because, well, as it were, you saw it before anyone did and you said, I want the rights to that. That's true. I, I was, I suppose, as your mother, I was frightened that it would go to a publishing company and they would want to put their spin on articles and I knew what you were doing and I, I as, a, as a mother and as a mother of two teenage girls who had felt the benefit of, of a lot of the lessons you'd learned, I felt it needed to be pretty much released as you'd written it. I didn't want to see it tampered with. So I oh, suppose that thank was... Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I felt it was it was worth doing that. Before. It was better. I could do it my own way. I could use, you know, I had a friend who was the photographer for the book and I could just get that all together myself. And that was a fun project, casting the models and doing the shoots and everything. That was really interesting yeah. and really enjoyable. And it also, because I was learning graphic design at the time, laying it out taught me InDesign and everything. Mm -hmm. So having that control over the project was really interesting because had I passed off the manuscript to a publisher, Tracy might not have been involved, Ben probably wouldn't have been involved, and Darren mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have gone even a look in. So mm -hmm. it was it was nice to do it on my own terms, create it how I wanted it, mm -hmm. and then just release that how it is. And I think there's a few things, well, there's a lot that I would change now mm -hmm. having learnt and from the experience, but I'm still really glad I got to put it out there as it was and as we liked it. Yep.